Right, g'day guys, how are we all? Hope we're all doing well. Picking some locks in your night. Don't forget to even hashtag it. Keep it bloody legal. And I do apologise for that noise in the background. I'm currently doing some more 3D printing. I'm printing another one of these up. This is a key casting box. Uh, I've got to finish cleaning this one up because it's got a little bit of stringing on it uh, from the printing process. But I will have these up on the website really bloody soon. As you know, I like doing a little bit of key casting. And I do apologize, my bloody chair's all creaky. Um, yeah, I do like doing a bit of key casting as a way of defeating locks and having some fun with it. But since it's like nearly 2 a.m. Saturday morning here, um, I enjoy well the rest of my quarter of a bottle of scotch I've just finished. Nothing expensive tonight, Glen Livet Pounds Reserve. $73 a bottle here. Uh, I got it on sale for like 58 bucks. Quite a good deal. And I'm going to try and pick a lock. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I've got a Lockwood V7 padlock here. And you can kind of just make out the V on there. But when you look at that keyway, you can tell that is a V7. So seven pins and the V, remember, like the kind of like the uh, V twin engines on the motorcycle. All the pins kind of hang off either side in the V shape and line up at the bottom. So seven pins and the cut on the angles. So we'll see what this is like to uh, pick open. Hopefully it'll open from there. So I'm going to use 50 thousandths top of the keyway for tension and let's go in with the HD from Sparrows. So we're going to pick from the bottom. Yep, little click out of seven. Worst thing is I can't gut this lock. Uh, because of the, uh, it's a solid lock and you know, it's unguttable. Unless I draw out all the, uh, all the plugs but I'm not going to do that. It's a little bit hard to pick off the bottom of the keyway here because there's a bit chunk of warning right on the left hand side there which kind of pushes your pick right over to the right. But there we go. We have an open. Didn't actually take much. Uh, all standard pins in this one, I can tell you that now just by feeling at it. And I can literally count the pins. Uh, you know, I went to from 7 to 6 to 5, down to 2 to 3 to 1. It's, yeah. Um, each one just gave a single little click. Not much to it, um, unfortunately. But still a beautiful vintage padlock to kind of add to the uh, collection down there but there you go she is open um a little bit fun i'm actually going to try something so we'll put him back in here since that was a little bit quick let's put the bottom of the keyway tensioner in and let's grab a bow time we'll see if this thing can actually be right Have a quick little go. Actually, I want to use the unicorn that's on the lowest setting as well. See how this goes. Yeah, I know I haven't done any picking for a while. I can't really, you know, say it's dark out. It's picking if there's no bloody picking involved. Um, I've been focusing a bit lately on 3D printing and getting everything set up for the products of the business and yeah, it's kind of taken over a lot, but nope, single pin picking is the way, cool. But anyway, <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to have a go at the raid, so yeah, we go. But there we go, lock with the V7 padlock. Picked open, I'm going to 
finish that. That's the last in that bottle of scotch. She's gone. But anyway, stay tuned. There will be more picking coming up. I do apologise that I haven't actually been doing a whole lot lately. As I said, 3D printing's kind of gone, taken over in a little, in a little way. Trying to get products organised. I did my first ever two colour print and it's yeah it lifted up on three corners uh i didn't re-level the bed after i was playing around with it so i didn't print correctly and it lifted up on three of the corners so it's not even you can actually see come on camera focus see you know compared to the good side which has got nice thickness and then yeah she didn't print correctly but now I know how to do it I will be doing them and yeah the uh, key casting boxes will be up on the website as well this one I've got to finish cleaning up some of this stringing it happens unfortunately but it's nothing that a razor blade can't take care of sometimes a little hair, uh, hair dryer will actually get rid of the stringing as well um, but I will be putting these up on the website along with all the other new products and everything else as well so stay bloody tuned for that as always check out all the links in the description down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button smash that thumbs up I really do bloody appreciate it till next time cheers guys have a good one I'll see you all bloody soon